二零二二年第四条题目咧，又系两 Sir 最中意嘅题目啦，就系、是、睇病学百科啦。今次呢一個顯微照片咧，就顯示咗一個患有腦疾病嘅病人嘅染色體組型 c a r i o t y p 或者另一個譯名咧就係核型啦。咁啊 Part A 咧就問我哋啦，呢、这個病人嘅性別係乜嘢咧？同埋啦，要我哋描述數據，描述要我哋描述翻呢個染色體嘅組型或者呢個核型嘅一個可見嘅特徵，去支持你嘅答案。咁呢條題目啦，自不然就考返我哋對於性染色體嘅理解啦，就係、是、第廿三組嘅染色體啦。咁呢一對嘅染色體有啲咩特別呢？作為一個可見特徵呢，你就 up 得出咯。一個 Y 嘅染色體，佢係比起 X 染色體為之短嘅。所以喺個答案嗰處咧，你要好小心啦，又唔好淨係講咧，嗱佢咧係一個男性嚟嘅，係因為咧佢嘅第廿三組染色體咧就係 X Y 染色體 ，no no no， 你要話埋俾我聽，第廿三組係佢係性染色體，不過呢兩條嘅染色體嘅長度、大細係唔一樣嘅。而我哋呢一條 Y 染色體咧，係比 X 染色體係為之短，所以佢係一個一長一短嘅染色體嘅配對，所以佢係一個男性。呢、这個咧就好考你有冇睇題目啦，即係睇錯題目就慘過冇温書嘅。咁過往咧都有唔少有關於生仔定生女嘅題目嘅，咁啊快快手睇翻題目温下書咯。好，跟住啦 Part B 咧就三條一齊講咯。第一部分咧就要我哋描述下呢個染色體組型所呈現嘅異常特徵啦。第二啦，就寫出呢個異常情況所牽涉嘅突變嘅類型啦。第三啦，就係呢個異常情況會點樣影響呢個病人腦細胞入面嘅 mRNA 進士 RNA 嘅水平咧。咁呢條題目咧都非常之直接噶啦，就係考翻我哋閲讀核型啦。咁第一部分非常簡單啦，其實佢就係有多咗一條嘅染色體啦，所以喺 chromosome 十五喺第十五組嘅染色體咧，佢係多咗一個複製嘅。跟住第二部分呢，就考返我哋對於突變嘅理解咯，染色體突變同埋基因突變有咩嘢唔同呢？咁你會發現啊，今次呢，佢係多咗一條染色體啊嘛，咁自不然根據定義呢，就係、是、染色體嘅突變啦，因為染色體突變就係講緊染色體嘅結構同埋數量嘅改變，咁而家係數量改變就係染色體突變啦。去到第三部分呢，就考返我哋啦，染色體。喺基因表現嘅角色係乜嘢嘢咯？咁自不然啦，就要考翻我哋轉錄嘅概念啦。轉錄就係製造順時 RNA 啊嘛。咁特別啦，點樣影響到個順時 RNA 嘅水平咧？咁由於而家我哋有三條第十五組嘅染色體啊嘛，咁自不然啦，嗱每一條染色體入面有咩咧？就係、是、有基因啊嘛。咁既然多咗一條染色體去表現呢個順時 RNA 嘅基因咧，其實都係多咗嘅。所以佢能夠產生到嘅順時 RNA 咧，應該都係多咗啦。跟住去到拍攝咯，就講翻啦，小腦咧喺呢個疾病所影響嘅其中一個區域。跟住啦，去到拍攝啦，佢就講咯，小腦咧喺呢個疾病所影響嘅其中一個區域啦。就小腦嘅功能而言啦，就提出呢個病人所遇到嘅一個困難咯。呢、这個題目就係睇病學敗屙啦。首先我哋要知道翻小腦嘅功能啦。第二啦，就要講下呢個人，如果佢個小腦係出現咗問題、有疾病嘅話啦，咁究竟遇到咩嘅困難啦？所以題目呢，都考我哋直線抽擊答題法㗎喎、啊。你唔好走去答我呢，哦，個小腦呢，就有咩咩功能？唔係啊，你要話俾我聽，如果個小腦出現咗問題，會令佢遇到咩嘅困難啦？我哋去面對呢一啲應用生物科知識嘅題目嘅時候，我哋就要問自己。到底發生過什麼事？點解要咁樣做？做嚟為乜嘢？而唔係死衝答題。我哋答卷應該係精力善用。你真係要問自己，到底發生過什麼事？火車過咗站，定係火車出曬軌啊？你係咪答緊嗰個問題啊？你係咪過分嘅推論啊？定還是答到離曬題啊？所以啦，你就要描述翻咧有關於保持平衡啦，同埋協調動作嘅。
活动啦。咁首先咧，个病人咧就会好难去保持平衡啦 ，cannot maintain body balance 啦，又或者啦，行路咧就会觉得有困难啦，因为啦，每次行路嘅时候你担喺一只脚，咁嗰阵时咧就系单脚企金鸡独立紧噶嘛，咁你要保持平衡咧系困难咗一啲嘅。第一啦，佢好容易跣亲跌亲啦。第二啦，就係、是、有關於做協調咯，嗰、那個病人咧就好難行到一條直線啦，好難啊做到一個較為精準嘅動作啦，例如啦，成隻手臂屈起咧。佢唔难做到嘅，系要揸住只水杯，要运用到手指嘅，要斋之不写字啊！咁呢一个咧，佢就难啲做得到啦。系啦，佢唔能够做到一个畅顺嘅动作咯。好，又嚟到一点出发啦。今次嘅题目咧就考我哋核型嘅，跟住啦就考性染色体啦，同埋呢个身体嘅染色体 （sex chromosome, autosom） 嘅。sex chromosome 就系讲紧决定性别啦。第二啦，就係去到身體染色體，今次講突變啦，亦都有關於基因嘅表達啦，染色體嘅突變啦。咁咁除咗染色體突變之外啦，仲有基因突變噶嘛，係咪？咁等為基因突變嘅話啦，又會發生啲咩事咧？同埋今次嘅題目睇病學擺屙啊嘛，係咪啊？對於小路啦，有啲咩嘅影響呢？嗱，咁可能你會問啦，喂，兩 Sir， 咁呢一個染色體突變呢，點樣影響到呢個人嘅小路嘅運作啊？咁其實你睇返二零二一年一 B 嘅第二條呢，其實就會有少少嘅概念咯。因為呢一年呢，就考我哋有關於 synapse 特足嘅概念嘅，喺 synapse 嘅接觸。呢、这個神經傳遞質嘅嗰一面咧，就係一啲酶啦，又或者啲膜嘅蛋白啦，方面啦，佢會接受呢一個神經傳遞質啦，又或者啦，另一方面咧，亦都有啲酶咧去拆解呢啲神經傳遞質嘅。如果啦，呢個第十五對嘅染色體佢所產生嘅蛋白質咧，係嗰啲能夠拆解到神經傳導體嘅酶嘅話咧，咁就弊加料啦。咁所以你明白啦，點解一點出發啦？因为啲题目嘅概念系一环扣一环嘅，咁当然唔争在啦。问得你蛋白质制造嘅就系考翻你转录同埋转译啦。咁过往都有唔少题目嘅，快快手睇翻片温翻书咯。呢一度咧又俾多一条题目啦。今次咧就考下大家基因突变啦。一个正常嘅等位基因就系 T T C G C G T T A。而家去到下面就係突變咗嘅等位基因咧，就係 T T C G G G T T A 啦。咁而家啦，呢一個突變佢係屬於邊一類型咧？咁啊，留言區分享你嘅答案啦。Two two question four is my favorite question because it is about disease approach. The photomicrograph shows the karyotype of the patient who is suffering from a certain brain disease, so we can see the twenty three pairs of the chromosome. And part A, what is the gender of this? Patient and describe one observable feature from the karyotype to support your answer. So for this question, is checking us the concept about the sex chromosome. That means the twenty-third pair of the chromosome, and then you can see one long chromosome and one short chromosome. Then you need to relate the features of the sex chromosomes, which is the shorter Y chromosome, for the sex determination. You cannot simply just say that oh, this patient. Is a male because I see the X Y chromosome in the twenty third chromosome. No, no, you cannot say that because you need to describe the observable features. So X Y chromosome, what is the difference? Is that the twenty third chromosome they are of different lengths or the size? Showing that the pair is composed of an X chromosome and a Y chromosome, which is a shorter chromosome in the twenty third pair. Or the last pair is a Y chromosome. Therefore, the patient is a male. And in the past, there were different questions about the sex determination. We give birth to a boy or we give birth to a girl. So watch the video for revision. And then for part B, you need to describe any abnormal phenomenon shown in the karyotype, and then show the type of mutation involved in this abnormality. And how would this abnormality affect the mRNA level in the brain cells of this patient? So for this question, it's checking us the skills of the karyotype reading. And then for the 15 group of chromosome, there is an extra copy of chromosome 15. So that's for part B1. 
And then for part B2, it checks us the concept about the chromosomal mutation, and the gene mutation. So you can see that a chromosomal mutation is a change in the structure or number of the chromosome. Therefore, the extra copy of the chromosome 15, it shows that this patient is suffering from the chromosomal mutation. And then for the part three, we need to recall the role of the chromosome on gene expression. We need to recall the concept of the transcription for mRNA synthesis. Because there are three chromosomes, 15, therefore, there will be more genes for this 15 set of the chromosomes to be expressed. Therefore, the level of the expression of the mRNA of these genes located on the 15 set of the chromosome is increased. And then for part C, the cerebellum is one of the regions affected by this disease. In relation to the function of the cerebellum, suggests one difficulty that would be experienced by this patient. For this question, it is obviously disease approach, and we need to recall the function of the cerebellum. And for answering this question, you need to determine the difficulty which the patient will experience. That means you need to describe any activity which is related to the balance or the coordination of the movement. You need to recall the skills strict to the point. So you cannot just say that cerebellum is responsible for balance, is responsible for the coordination of the movement. Therefore, the patient cannot do these two things. No, no, no. You need to describe it. For example, you can describe that the patient may trip easily while walking, may experience difficulty in walking, or cannot maintain body balance. Because when we are walking, we need to raise one leg and then step forward. And at that moment, and you just stand by one leg. And for this patient, it will be very difficult to maintain the body balance. And then for the coordination of the movement, the patient may not be able to walk along a straight line. They cannot perform five movements. For example, they be able to bend their arm. But when you ask them to hold a glass of water by their finger or holding a pen to write some wordings, so they cannot write it because the coordination of the muscle is not that well and then they cannot perform the movement smoothly. So it is a disease approach. And then let's talk about the curriculum mapping. This question starts from the karyotype, and then it checks us the concept about the sex chromosome and the autosome about the body. And then for the sex chromosome, surely it's about the sex determination. And then for the autosome, it checks us the concept about the mutation. And the mutation, it also affects our gene expression and for the protein synthesis. No matter, this gene expression is affected by the chromosomal mutation or the gene mutation. And then you can watch the video about the allele, the gene mutation. And then the mutation affects the function of the cerebellum. And then you need to recall the basic function of the cerebellum, for example, the coordination, maintaining body balance. So you can watch this video to get some idea. How does the mutation affect the function of the cerebellum? So for 2021 paper 1B question 2, it checks us the concept of the synapse. And in the postsynaptic region, our membrane proteins on the postsynaptic membrane for the receiving of the neurotransmitter. Meanwhile, there are also membrane protein to break down the neurotransmitter. There are some enzymes to there are enzymes to break down the neurotransmitter. So if the uh, protein synthesis for this enzyme to break down the neurotransmitter is increased, therefore the neurotransmitter will be broken down in a higher rate and it will affect the normal function of the cerebellum. So watch this video for revision. And then for the protein synthesis, surely I can check you the concept about the transcription and translation. And then for this MC question, you can try it. Now I'm asking you about the gene mutation and you have the normal allele TTCGCGTTA and the mutated allele TTCGGGTTA. So which of the following correctly show the type of mutation that occur in this segment of the allele? So leave your answer in the comment section.